Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the Spiritual Queen Tarot channel. I'm your host, Chanel Black. I'm also your tarot reader, okay? Today, we have a special guest on the show today. And our special guest, he is new to the channel. So, we're going to give him a warm welcome, Mr. Jason Sudikas. Give it up for Jason, y'all. Welcome, Jason. Look at Jason. Trying to, trying to bring sexy back to the older men. Come on, Jason. Jason said he aging well, honey. He said he bringing in the salt and pepper. He got a little nice little haircut. I like when a man age well. Accept your age and go with it. I mean, flow. Okay? Uh, don't try to deny it. Don't try to play it all. Okay? Because Jason here, his, his, he was born Daniel Jason Sudeikis. He was born September the 18th, 1975. He's an American actor, comedian, producer, and writer. Now, we know Jason. Well, I know Jason. I mean, I, I, I don't want to say I know Jason. I've seen Jason in a couple of, I think, shows or movies. He's funny every time I see him. Every time I see a picture of him, it just makes me want to laugh. It's like he's trying to say something silly. Just, he just looks like he's thinking of something silly all the time. I like a little humor in my men, okay? So... But he's worth $25 million, honey. And we want to know, because we know money is energy. Okay, over here. So he got $25 million. At least that's his net worth. Okay. But we're going to be asking some questions about his ex, Olivia Wiles. Okay. And, you know, she's been dating Harry Styles. Allegedly or whatever. Another one of those Hollywood relationships where they haven't confirmed. But yet, I think, we, I just saw an article when I was looking his name up. Where Olivia and, I think, Harry was at a, um, a wedding. They stay at somebody's wedding. It's like, okay, they was at a wedding and they was holding hands. Okay, so they say, I got to see the picture. I haven't seen the picture or nothing. But, Jason is here to answer some questions. Okay, we're going to get Jason's side of the story when it comes to Olivia and Harry's relationship and how he feel about it. Okay? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know today. Now, we found a couple of pictures. Okay, I found the picture where he, where Jason was growing his hair out. I don't know if he was trying to get into his hairstyle mode. I don't know what this is about, Jason. Okay, but your hair is nice. I mean, it's nice and deep conditioned. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give it to it. I mean, it's nice and trim. I mean, hey. Nice hair. Nice hair. Look at Jason trying to get sexy. Jason, stop. Jason, stop. <laughs> Jason trying to be sexy. Sexy. It's like he bringing sexy back to um, sexy and funny. He's trying to mix sexy and funny together. All right, bringing sexy back to the comedian stage. Well, let's find out, Jason. Enough, enough playing around, Jason, okay? I'm trying to avoid the question. How do you feel about Harry and Olivia dating? Or allegedly dating? Or acting like they're dating? Or playing house? How do you feel about that, Jason? Talk to me, okay? How does Jason feel about Harry style and Olivia's relationship? We got the marriage card here. Honey, Jason said, you know, and this ain't the, like, sweet marriage. Like, oh, we're sweet. We're married. I, lo I'm, I love you. This, like, oh, it's a marriage. It was a corp. It was a, um, a, a joining of documents together, a uh, joining of assets. Okay, government. It says a marriage. Um, government or public company, a body corporation, official building, or official situation. And we got an official situation here with the Hierophant. And things change with this marriage, this official situation with Jason and Olivia. There was some, some type of elevation of money or overseas travel, tra travel or trip, a completion of a phase with the Will of Fortune. Okay. It's like their marriage had ran its course. Okay. That's what I'm, I'm seeing. It had ran its course, okay, and it may not. It wasn't a perfect marriage, and things, things had. It seems like things had changed for the marriage 
Somebody made the overseas trip. That's what I'm starting to see now. Somebody took an overseas trip, came back, and so-called the marriage has changed a little bit for them, per se, if you will. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Somebody was bored in the marriage a little bit, what I'm seeing here. Because it seemed like it had turned from a loving type of relationship to a business deal. Because I feel like Jason loved Olivia. Um, I don't know. I got to check and see how Olivia felt about him. But to me, you can definitely kind of see that he kind of felt love for her. I guess, I, I mean, that's just what I'm picking up. But it, it turned business-like, okay, after an overseas trip. Okay, a trip had happened to face, and then it's like they had went, it's like their relationship had started to go its course. It, it became just strictly business. Okay. What else, Jason? Talk to me, brother. Now, how do you feel? Oh, so, but, you know, he, he's, he's responding to how he feel about Olivia's and, <laughs> and Harry's relationship. Okay. Let's, let's keep, okay. So, he feel like this is some type of business relationship. He feel like it's an official situation. Okay. It's a joining of assets with Olivia and, and Harry. Okay. Probably after an overseas trip. Olivia probably went on a trip, honey, and fell in love with Harry. And things went, and that's how things went to the left in their relationship. So even he think Harry and Olivia is some type of um, public affection, some type of public situation. A joining together in the public, in an official situation, okay, even the marriage, okay, like I said, it's a marriage, it's a partnership for the public eye, okay, things that change after the trip, give me more, Jason, what else, how do you feel about Olivia and Harry Styles' relationship, okay, we got the King of Cups, Man over 25 years old, blue eyes, fair or brown hair, gentle, emotional, shy. Hmm. So, who is this King of Cups? I mean, King of Cups. I don't know about this King of Cups here. With Jason and how he goes by Harry and Olivia. And the King of Pentacles. Still speaking of a man over 25 years old with dark eyes, dark hair, business, arrogant, powerful. Okay, I see it now. So things had changed for the, the King of Cups. Because guess what? The King of Pentacles has stepped into the building, y'all. Olivia went overseas, went, did some type of trip. Maybe some type of business trip, okay, where she was working with somebody. It was official business. Started off official business, okay. The marriage was just fine before she left. So the girl took, went on this trip, went um, and then, honey, the relationship was complete at that point. It was ended, okay. The phase was over, okay, because his love, because he's showing up as the king of cups, he, like he was giving cups to her, love to her. And, but the king of pentacles came in with his pentacles, which is, I'm seeing is Harry, okay, who is business, arrogant, and powerful. Or well, the roles could be reversed here. But I don't see. We're going to see. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. About how he feels about this relationship, this connection with Olivia Styles and Harry. three of pentacles it says there's gonna be some type of improvements on the way but there's some type of delays that's happening you feel like there was some type of delays that happened in the marriage okay and olivia is like olivia followed the pentacles she was olivia was following the pentacles honey i thought olivia was the queen of pentacles it looked, looked like she was following the pentacles because it says improvement on the way, but there was some delays around it when it came to this Three of Pentacles relationship. 
this it falls upon the hierophant, which speaks of a marriage. Renewal, a place of worship. Honey, the marriage was no longer peaceful after this girl came back from this trip. And Olivia was working on trying to improve her pentacles. And she felt like she could only improve her pentacles by going with Harry, honey. Because her pentacles were staying the same with Jason. Well, that's Jason. <laughs> How you feel about Harry and, and honey? That was a raise in money and salary with the six of pentacles. He was very giving. It's like he felt like he was still giving to this relationship when it came to Olivia. He know the ties had started to change. He knows that after she came back from that trip, um, that he was still giving to this relationship. He was trying to balance it out. He was trying to hold it together. But, honey, the wheels had changed. Karma, the wheel of fortune had came in, honey. Olivia had already had switched her mode when it came to this partnership. Or, honey, it was just a partnership to her. At that point, she was over the partnership. Yep. And no matter how much he gave, no matter, no matter what, Honey, she she didn't want it no more. She didn't want it no more. It's like he was working on the relationship, but she didn't want what he was giving. She wanted that she wanted that King of Pentacles, honey. But but then again she let me find out who is this. Who is this person, honey? more about this high offense. Let me break these cards down. Why is the high offense here for Jason and how he feels about Olivia and Harry's relationship? It definitely, okay, the relationship between Harry and Olivia definitely took a toll on their relationship. They, if you ask Jason, Jason feels like, yeah, Okay, he felt like the relationship was healthy at first until Olivia, somebody started welcoming new love. He said the relationship was healthy. He says, make healthier choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, uh, self being happier. <sighs> and then with the heart with a key, welcoming new love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting to know, getting together, perfect. He felt like before the trip, the relationship was healthy, and they they was really in love. He felt like they was in love before Harry got into the picture. Homegirl took this trip, and things went to the left with this Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? For Jason. And how do you feel about Harry and Olivia's relationship? Oh, a few cards popped out. Honey, photographs. Okay, so things changed when it came to, he was looking at photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories, okay? So, honey, probably while she was on the trip, he looking at photos, making new memories concerning his soulmate. And Olivia felt like when she went made that trip, she found her soulmate, her connection, okay? There was a lot of passion, insane passion when it came to this will of fortune. Abundance, keep a positive mindset. Jason wanted to stay positive about this relationship, okay? He, even though there were some obstacles there, he felt like it, it was still moving forward, honey. But he had sunglasses on, baby. He was watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. He, okay, he was focusing out when it came to love. Unconditional love, self-love, passion, affection, attraction, okay? Yeah, things had changed with his soulmate. Give me more about this King of Cups here. Dragonfly, be lighthearted. Finding out things coming to light. Yeah, the King of Cups found out some things coming to light about this overseas trip. This trip that happened, okay, where a lot of love was happening. Okay. Olivia felt like she found her soulmate. And she was out there making new memories. While he's sitting there thinking about old memories. He's thinking that things were good. He's thinking things were was lovely. Okay. He still he still had a lot of love for Olivia before 
this so-called for things changed in the relationship. Okay, but the King of Cups, because he's showing up as King of Cups. Okay, he came to find out some things, some words. You know, so he found out some things through a little, little, you know, little bird, a little dragonfly, with some things in his ear about this trip. Okay, with this King of Pentacles, honey, Harry is worth a hundred million dollars, hundred twenty-five American dollars. So give me more about this King of Pentacles. Wedding rings, honey. It speaks of a union, a wedding, a marriage, a soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Some type of everlasting promise, some type of soul connection happened on this trip with this King of Pentacles. And they they joined together a connection. Okay. It was no longer this hyphen energy no more. Now it was this three of pentacles energy coming together. With this king of cups, with this king of pentacles, with Harry, okay? So he started to notice this. He, he's, at this point, Jason see this. So give me more about the three of pentacles. The hammer, baby. Sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So, yeah. At this point, he see that things was going to the left in this relationship. So he may even call in some type of counseling. Probably took some type of counseling trying to work on. You see, trying to rebuild something in this connection. Trying to rebuild. He saw that Harry had stepped into this marriage, honey, with this wedding ring. Okay. Harry had came in. I don't know if he came in connected with her, with Olivia on a soul connection. Something that she was lacking but everything seemed healthy in their relationship at first until she made some type of trip okay some type of completion some type of money evaluations i mean elevation money started to come in for olivia olivia started getting money motivated okay and then so jason was trying to work on this relationship okay he probably tried to seek counseling and everything he was giving a lot to this relationship give me one but the six of pentacles Jason was still working on this relationship. Okay. Yeah, he's still working. We're going to move on to the Eight of Pentacles. Give me more about the Eight of Pentacles here. Wow. Because he's still in his emotion and his feelings. Okay, we've got the butterfly. The butterfly. Stabbed in the back with the runner. So the butterfly is a relationship evolving. To the next phase. Healing the inner child. Some type of growth needs to be happening here. Okay. Because somebody was stabbed in the back. Okay. Heartbroken. Pain. Separation. Deception. Shocking. Attack. Because somebody ran the hell out of the relationship. You know that's Olivia. The runner. The runner in the codependent, codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to the ego. So, so while he was still trying to work on this relationship. Olivia ran out this relationship. Because she didn't want it no more. She was being offered something that she didn't want no more at this point. And I guess Jason saw that. So why is the four of cups here? But Jason and how he goes about Olivia and, uh, and Harry's relationship. Because look, she running out the relationship. She running to something else. But she didn't want the relationship no more. So let's see here. Give me more about this being stabbed in the back. Hmm. Why is this just like stabbed in the back? Why is stabbed in the back here? The grave, baby. Because it was the end. This relationship was dead between him and Olivia at this point. And, and he suffered through this because he was trying. He really thought he was building something back with her. Okay. And there's a lot of regrets here. Transformations. Mourning. Yeah. He, mourning of death because he was stabbed in the back. He thought this relationship was evolved in a positive type of way. Yeah, it was evolving all right. This girl was running. She it was a running, a runner. And but the thing about it is 
it's like something she connected with. She connected with Harry on something that she felt she was missing. Some type of inner child wound she is she needs to deal with. Okay? And he does too. Harry does too. Okay? That's the only reason why they're attracted to this type of relationship. So we got the four of cups here. Give me more about the four of cups. We got a letter here. So it speaks about some type of chorus communication, a message, documents, okay? Coming in with the four of cups. Not being okay, so at this point they didn't want she didn't want this relationship no more. So he didn't have no choice but to serve her some type of documents, honey. Okay, let me serve you paper, baby. You're trying to run. You can't run too far because I'm going to catch you. Okay? You may not want these documents, but you're about to get them. Okay? Because you're out here playing games. You're playing games with my marriage without without uh, rings. You know? You're not taking it serious. You're out there playing with this king of pentacles. I'm out here working on this marriage. I'm working on it. With my feelings, I'm putting my feelings out here, and you just running from it, you backstabbing it. When all along you knew it was over. Tell a man it's over, okay? He over here with the hammer and trying to build something. He thought he was building back with this way. He thought he was building back better, and he wasn't, okay? Because all along she was running. So let me see. Let's give him some words of encouragement, honey. Because he's going through a heartbreak right now. Let's give Jason some words of encouragement to get through this. But we just stroke up, we just uh, strike up some emotions and we need to take care of them. We just can't leave them out here like that. You need to refrain, honey. This is happening for me, not to me. Yeah, Jason, you got some healing to do, baby. You, okay, so this was a sacrifice. Something sometimes sacrifice is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsession, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Okay, yeah, y'all was in a toxic relationship. And I think Olivia done ran from one toxic relationship to another. She thinks she's she looking for something, but she really needs to find the love, self-love within herself. Okay, but this ain't refrain. This is happening for me, not to me. Okay, so that is... That's going to conclude the reading for Jason and how he feels about the connection between Harry and Olivia, okay? Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Catch me on the next one. Bye.